Um, well, first I want to say thank you very much for everybody who traveled uh, to come here. I know it's, it was a long time on the road. Uh, I also want to thank um, Mr. Curtis. I do appreciate everything you said. Uh, you do raise a lot of good points, and I'm not here to uh, try and convince you that you just need a, a gubernatorial candidate for, for, for kicks or, or, or whatnot. I want to be your governor candidate, gubernatorial candidate, precisely because we have the same goals in mind. I don't think anybody would say that the Libertarian Party, um, I certainly didn't come to the Libertarian Party just, just because I enjoy a debate club. I, it's a party because it runs candidates and because it's trying to influence what, the way people vote and, uh, and change public policy for the better. So, so, so those goals we have in common, and I believe that I can be a good spokesperson for liberty. And one of the things that I want to do is help the, uh, A, help the party get more delegate candidates before, before the filing deadline, and be a, a resource for them in terms of selling the Libertarian Party to the media and to voters. So, so what I view this as is a, is a, uh, a learning experience and an opportunity to serve the, the, the cause of freedom. Um, just a little bit about me, just so you kind of know a little bit more about me. Uh, I kind of became a small L libertarian sometime in college, which was about 15 to 17 years ago. Um, I had, I basically, it was, it was primarily from studying economics, but also just enjoying the freedom of college and realizing that, you know, a lot of, a lot of the, the, the rules and, and laws that are imposed upon us uh, really treat us like children, and that we have, we have some, we, we have these rights to, to build who we are, to uh, go out into the world, and if we aren't hurting other people, why should we be stopped? Over the, over, the, over the following 15 years, I've been involved in a lot of small L libertarian uh, groups. After, the summer after college, I did the Koch Summer Fellows Program. That's a, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, funded by Charles Koch, and it's run by the Institute for Humane Studies. It's a libertarian uh, training educational uh, program. I worked for the Citizens for Sound Economy at the time. Um, after that, I've, I've been to some IHS week-long liberty seminars, and I went to Cato University. Uh, I'm currently working at Mercatus in, the Mercatus Center, uh, studying, studying economics and public policy, and doing some research for them. Uh, I, I, so I, I definitely am willing to answer your questions about you know, how, how, uh, how libertarian I am, but I think that that isn't something that you should be primarily worried about. Uh, as for, as for joining the Libertarian Party, it is true that I have not previously been a member of the party. I had not been a member of any party prior to uh, 2011. Um, and I, I joined the Republican Party to run for state senate against uh, Dick Saslow, who's the majority leader of the Senate. Um, I viewed that as an opportunity to uh, explore whether I would like pu uh, public politics, campaigning, uh, and I, I took advantage of the fact that there was a, uh, a, a infrastructure in the Republican Party that I could, um, that I could work with. And, but I quickly learned that the Republican Party is just not friendly to freedom candidates, and it's kind of a, a, a noose, I mean, an albatross around the neck of, of a liberty candidate. And, this go around, I really became frustrated with what I saw as a, a total lack of, of candidates who are willing to talk about um, to talk about freedom in a consistent manner. And I got really frustrated by the fact that a lot of people are, are latching on to uh, the Republican presumptive nominee, thinking of him as a liberty candidate, when in fact he is incredibly hostile to, to freedom. Uh, in, on certain issues, and I think that both parties are guilty of using the rhetoric of liberty for their own issues and just totally ignoring it on other issues. And so I would like to be somebody who can who can say both the Democratic parties and Democratic and Republican parties look at what they're doing, present facts to a candid world, and and really just you know at some point you have to have somebody out there who is willing to do what it takes to get the media attention to get in front of voters, to talk with them in a way that they understand. Um, 
you know, to, to try and describe it. There, there are some surveys that say that as people uh, become more knowledgeable of the details of public policy, not the, not the, not the, the, the nice stuff that candidates talk about, but the actual details of public policy, they become more libertarian in effect. Maybe not, maybe not the label they use, but in effect they, they become that. And so I think that what Bill said is, is, this, is this is a time to push forward, and I would, encourage, uh, I would encourage all the people that I know who have ever thought about um, running to, to jump in, and I would love to help you know, develop candidates, develop vote share, and also develop mind share, because the more we talk about liberty, the more we're out there and getting coverage, the more we're just doing stuff and showing that we have a valid plan that's so much better than what we have, uh, I think that's going to build momentum. So I, I got the sign that says I can take questions now. So.